Hey everybody, welcome back. Hope the game's been treating you well recently. Um, for those of you who follow me regularly, you know that I've started testing, you know, this theory that um, SG has increased the drop rate. A lot of uh, high, high level, high paying players have noticed that the that they're getting a lot more five stars recently. And so I started by um, doing, let's see, I think we did 50 pulls at the, the last time in the seasonal event. And I pulled, um, let's get down here to them. I pulled a Jasper and I think it was my first or second pull. And then I pulled a second Archie in the um, the last pull, so that was technically above odds there, two five stars in 50 pulls. So I wanted to sort of uh, discuss what has happened since then, <clears throat> because I ended up with I still had those seven pulls left over, and I was leveling up heroes as you can see i've got the two heroes that i wanted more than anything else water pipe and aramis from that covenant of champions that just went just passed so i was on video when i did water pipe but i pulled aramis when i i had just a couple of of uh, pulls and so i didn't turn on the camera i figured it's just going to be whatever a couple of pulls I really was just grabbing feeders to feed Zandrella and water pipe and I'm limit breaking Cupido and Ojima and I pulled Aramis with just a couple of pulls so that was amazing and then I went and um, not the same day but uh, I think yesterday or the day before I decided to use up the rest of my seasonal coins my epic hero tokens just because I only had seven of them and I again I was just needed to feed these heroes at the top I figured I'm not going to pull anything with seven coins and I pulled a second Jasper on I think my first pull there or my second one and again that was not on camera so I have I've pulled Jasper, I pulled uh, Aramis, both with, you know, around five pulls. And then I was farming, and so I ended up with, I think, three pulls in... When did I pass them? I ended up with three pulls in the, um, in the Season 2 yesterday. So I did those three pulls and got this guy, Costume Atomos, which means I've done about 15 pulls, I think, off camera, maybe 20 pulls, and I've pulled Aramis, I've pulled Jasper, I've pulled Atomos, I've pulled two heroes of the month, uh, basically like 25% of the heroes that I'm pulling at this point are five stars. So. I don't know if anything's going on or if I just have crazy luck right now, but I figure I have to buy food at this point. If, you've, if you're watching my roster as I scroll, you can see that right through this area here, I've got Gortooth that I want to finish. I've got Topaz here, which has become the number two counter against water pipe. So, I'm going to start making videos. There's a lot of people doing uh, feature videos, so they feature certain heroes. I've done a couple of those, but some other YouTubers like um, Low Rate Hitman, he's doing a great job um, doing feature videos, and I don't want to duplicate those same videos. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start doing videos on how to counter certain heroes. So. In the near future here, I'm going to put out a, a water pipe counter video where I feature, you know, Zao 2 is my primary with Ojima, 
that team, which you've seen in all my wars, and and then also using charge heroes. So charge heroes, I put together a team up here that is that I'm going to use in this war. It's team six right here. So putting Nemesis and Hypnos together, they're both charge heroes. So if they overcharge, then um, getting hit by water pipes minions, they don't lose their ability to fire their special. You know, it, they might be halfway to their second charge and get knocked down a little bit, but they can still fire their first charge. So Nemesis is a good um, sniper to take water pipe out. Hypnos, he hits all and he's good for wiping all of um, water pipes minions off the board. You pair these two together and you get a great anti-water pipe team. Not quite as guaranteed as Zhao Tu, you know, because hers is, her ability is a passive. But, you know, then the next, my number three counter is Topaz here. For the same reason, she is a charge hero, which means if she starts getting hit by minions, she won't completely lose her ability to cast specials. And then, of course, she destroys all the minions from the target and nearby enemies. So, I mean, that's at her second charge. Her first charge is just from the target, and then her third charge is from all three. So, you know, if you're getting frustrated using very fast heroes against uh, Water Pipe, and then they get dinged once and they can't fire, charge heroes are the way to go there. So... I'm going to make some videos on how to counter certain heroes, but you can see here that I've got all basically all of these heroes that you can see on the screen here, except set, are all heroes that I need to, to charge up. So I'm not going to be doing very many pulls now. I have too many heroes that I need to level. So I figure I figured I wasn't going to make any more videos, but because I've been pulling five stars with such regularity. I bought this offer today. I didn't buy both of them, just one. I'm, I'm debating I might buy the second one because I'm in desperate need of food in order to level these heroes, try to power level and, and eventually get to leveling the four stars, which I need to do in order to make more videos for you. So, um, so I'm buying offers that give food, basically. And that did come with 3,000 coins, which if I'm going to use them, I figure I might as well use them here. So I'm going to do a 10 pull. I don't expect anything, but I figured I'd do it on camera, give you an update on what's going on, and then do a 10 pull here. So if you watched my Aether pull, I, I did them individually instead of hitting the 10 pull, and a lot of people commented on that. So here you go. I'm going to do all the pulls in a 10 pull. So I don't waste the the gems. Let's see what we get. Even if I pull a five star here, I'm not gonna be able to level them for a while. But these ninjas are defensive heroes, which the biggest problem that ninja heroes have had up to this point is that you can't really use them on defense. Because not knowing when they're gonna fire is very problematic. Of course, I'm doing this video on camera, so you know I'm pulling a bunch of garbage. But it is what it is. Sapphire. I actually had Sapphire. I'm glad that I got Sapphire because I had two copies of Sapphire, I think, and I fed them away because they just are not functional as uh, four-star heroes, except now with this um, very purposeful balancing. You can see... You know, Sapphire's stats from a maxed Sapphire to a double limit broken, which doesn't take any um, doesn't take any legendary Aethers, and it doesn't take any epic mats to to level Sapphire all the way up. So Sapphire is very cheap to level, and then. Now you're looking at a four star here with over a thousand attack. The defense is still low, but um, the HP is not bad. With over a thousand attack, this is most double limit broken five stars 
have this level of attack and some even have less than that. So they're sacrificing the defense here, but Sapphire is a very usable hero here. So 225% damage to the target with a 35% chance to bypass defensive buffs. If you add a Cyclops troop to that, that's a 20% chance to bypass. So I think it's 21 and it stacks with this. So, you know, at a very fast speed, you're looking at 225% with a thousand attack at what is this average speed about average speed. So three matches, 250% damage to the target and nearby enemies and a 60 up to an 81 percent chance to bypass defensive buffs if you're using the right troop and then if you can hold him to the third charge I think that's a him then um, then you're looking at 290 percent damage and uh, essentially a hundred percent chance to bypass counterattacks so this is um become a usable hero so I was kind of regretting having fed Sapphire away, now I'm going to level them up. So I can show you guys how to make um, teams for out of four-star heroes that can go in and be just as effective as teams with five-star heroes in war battles, things like that. So that's it. I will wrap this video up now. I hope you have good luck. Oh, I'm on, yeah, one last thing. These heroes are defensive because their specials, um, they don't completely change what they do. And they're usable on the first charge if you need them on the first charge. So if their mana is low and they and they fire early, you're still going to get taunt, you're still going to get counterattack, and um, Oni Wakamaru here is going to be able to heal a little bit. If you don't need them right away, then you're looking at a better heal. You're looking at undispellable taunt. Actually, it is it is undispellable no matter what. So the longer that he sits there and charges, the better the special is. But it's usable on defense at the first charge. And the same thing here. So if you're looking for a good defensive healer, if you know you need to put this hero has to be a flank because they need to be taking uh, the brunt of the damage and then if they're if the attacker is doing really well and causing a lot of damage enough that this hero is going to fire early they're going to on one charge boost the health of all allies at first charge uh, 370 and give increase to mana and increased defense this has the chance of making your defense team be able to last through an initial onslaught of a good board. If they have an average board and you're looking at a probably a, a fire at the second skill level, now you're just getting a deeper heal, you're getting the same mana generation but for three turns instead of two, and an increased uh, defensive buff. And if they have a slow board and they're not dealing a bunch of damage right up front, then when she does finally go off, you know, you're looking at a nice deep boosted health increase for all allies and still the increased mana generation for four turns. She is just, this hero is going to give you exactly what you need when you need it. And when you're, when someone's attacking you there if i was attacking again and this hero was at a flank i would start i would just start by attacking the other side of the formation so to try and wear them down before she charges up but she's a hero that you got to consider so i like this i like that they figured out how to make defensive ninjas with this charge mana speed and i'm kind of curious to see them in action if they if they work as well as I think that they're going to. So, that's it. If you've got Topaz, level her up. I'm 
I need to level her up soon because now you're going to see a lot more water pipes out there. And that's it. Good luck. And I will be making my war attack videos a little bit later on today. And I will see you then. All right.